Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is Sunday today. I'm back at my house. Haven't been here all night, don't worry. I didn't dramatically get up and leave Chris in the middle of the night. Woke up this morning. Both me and Chris are feeling a bit off at the moment. Not to the extent that we feel sick, but obviously with a pandemic going on, the second you feel any symptoms of any illness, you're like, I need to check every other symptom. So we both took our temperatures this morning. We're both fine. We don't have temperatures. Chris woke up this morning with a bit of a cough and he really freaked out. But Chris gets coughs literally all the time. <laughs> so like I was saying yesterday, I have like a headache and it's been making me feel really like weak and lethargic. I 100% put it down to the change in seasons because like I was saying the other day, the temperature has gone from like 30 something degrees to 15 something degrees literally within the space of like a week and a half two weeks and that's that I always get sick around that kind of situation because my body's like crazy sensitive to temperature and knowing my luck I've probably caught something and then given it to Chris so <laughs> that's probably all it is we're not overly concerned but like it was a bit of a scare this morning yeah that was fun so we were up and at him quite early this morning. However, talking about the temperature dropping, we're having a mini heat wave over the next couple of days, which is kind of really annoying. It's meant to go up to, I think, 24 or 25 today, and then tomorrow it's meant to be like 29. Why? And then it goes back down to 25 and then back down to 20, which is where it probably should be around this time of year, between 15 and 20 degrees. But yeah, we're having a mini heat wave. So I've kind of come home because I wanted to eat some breakfast and like I'm a cereal person like I like sweet things first thing in the morning and Chris's house does have cereal but it's always like cereal I have to drown in sugar like it's like plain shreddies or plain Weetabix or whatever and I've I'm using up quite a lot of it I found so I'm pretty much like I'm just gonna go home and have my own cereal and not steal all of yours and he's left me here because they're building Chris's new bed. So I'm not sure about how well I explained this the other day, or the other week even. Basically, Chris's bed broke. It had been a little bit dodgy for a while. It wasn't a super cheap bed, but I guess it kind of was. We put it together, me and Chris, and there was like one part of it that always kind of was a bit loose. We didn't really think much of it. It's been fine for like, what, two years, three years? And then, yeah, Chris's mum tried to move over lockdown and basically pulled a lot of things loose. She tried to put it back together, didn't really work, and yeah, basically one day we were just on it and it broke. So we've been sleeping in the guest bedroom for the past few days, and yeah, today they're putting together Chris's new bed, and I've basically said, like, I am way too weak, right, I feel really, not like, I don't feel really ill, I just feel really weak, and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to help you build a bed, and I feel like... I'd much rather not be there at all than be there standing, watching you build a bed, feeling useless, you know? It's much better if I'm not there at all than standing there watching you work. It feels a bit weird. So yeah, that's why I'm at home right now. Chris is gonna come get me in a couple hours. I think we're both just gonna go for a quick stroll just to get some fresh air and, you know, relax. I need to get changed because I basically dressed this weekend with the anticipation that it was going to be like 15 degrees. And now it's 25, so what I'm wearing is way too warm <laughs> for this weather. Luckily I've been wearing it for the past like day and a half, so it is justifiable to shove in the wash. But like, now I need to figure out what I am going to wear on our little walk. Don't know where we're going yet, we'll see. But yeah, that's been the morning. Woke up, edited the vlog, and been dropped back here. Just had my breakfast, it's just coming up to half ten. It's Sunday. It's a Sunday morning. <sighs> right, it's been a bit later. Me and Chris are going out for a walk. Um, we don't really know where we're going. Chris has basically found a walk. And there's nowhere nearby to park, so we're parked quite far away. So we have to walk to the place we are going to go for a walk, which is a bit long. I've just wolfed down a chicken and bacon slice. For lunch because with me feeling a bit off I basically like when I'm hungry I'm suddenly like really lightheaded and need to eat something fast so I've just done that um yeah 
Chris is pacing around outside waiting for me to finish. So we're gonna go for a stroll. Should be fun. <laughs> okay, we just walked up a very steep hill. That even had a signpost saying steep hill. I don't think that's what it's called. I think it was just like a, yeah, it's a steep hill there. And this is the view. We've never walked, which is, sorry, wind. It's odd because we have lived here basically our entire lives. We're always discovering new nooks and crannies. There's the cathedral hospital over there. And right in the distance over there, I don't know if I can zoom in enough to be able to see it. Right in the distance. No, you can't really see it. I know, but I'm trying. Oh, there it is. That's the Wembley Arch. I always forget how close we are to London. And then we come up here and we. You can see Canary Wharf. As in. You're right. Oh god, shall I try and zoom in over there? They are, so we must be really high up actually. That there is central London. That's crazy. You probably could, I don't know if you'd be able to recognise it though. But yeah, it's funny, we've never been up here before. And this is the first time we've seen a view like this. And yeah, you can literally see. Central I've never seen one with the arch from Newlands Corner. Really? No. Because look how faint it is now, imagine if it was right Yeah. But yeah, it's not far. It's not far at all. I've always been, that is one of the things I've always liked about Guildford, is just how close we are to London. But we're also like in the middle of the countryside as well. Like just south of Guildford is just forests and hills and fields. Oh, so I guess. Oh, so that's Lady Mead. Yeah, because that's the big yellow. The yellow building there is the storage thing. Yeah, I can't picture where the storage. But oh, it's on site. Okay. It's on. No, the big yellow one is near Frankie and Benny's. Yeah, yeah. So, that must so that's be... what that yellow building is. So Slyfield's those ones over there. I don't know if my camera can tell where I'm pointing. <laughs> oh, we're backing off the path because people are coming. Right next to some massive transmission towers. Opposite side of the hill. Very green. We're trying to figure out what this building over here is. I'll zoom in in a second, there are people trying to walk past. I'm trying to see. I can't even see on my thing. That building there. See, I'm quite zoomed in on the camera, so I could probably pick up what it is a bit more clearly. It does look like a water tower. But I can't see my screen clearly enough to figure out what that is. Hang on, let me stop recording and watch this clip back. The reason why it doesn't make sense is it being a water tower. Because we don't really have water towers in the UK. So we would have to just be one there. Don't know. You're having a Google. Can't see our phones in this sunlight. There's also birds of prey everywhere here, which is quite cool. Can't you can't see them very good. No. I think we'll have to go home and Google it, because I don't think we're going to get any answers here. Oh my goodness, I'm so sweaty. It's very hot. It's, yeah, I mean I forgot that when we went out it was only just coming up to noon, so it was only just getting warm. Or to the peak heat of the day. Oh god. Anyways, I'm going to go back to yours for a couple hours. Yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to go back to mine for the evening. What a barbecue! Isn't that nice? Oh. Right. Evening everyone. It's been quite a while since I last spoke to you actually. We did our walk, we went back to Chris's house, we hung out at Chris's for a bit. I had already had lunch, like you saw <laughs> in the vlog. I had it quite early because I just felt really hungry to the point of lightheaded. So I had lunch at like 10 to 12, 12, which is really bad. And then I had a little bit of food at Chris's, Chris's parents decided to have a barbecue and had their family friends over. So I had like a sausage and a bit of salad 
that was it. Um, so now I'm really hungry because we're having a barbecue here. Um, I was basically saving myself for here. But yeah, then we came back over here, hung out for a bit, cuddled this one, and now it's dinner time, huh? Yeah. She's been as cuddly as always. Um, she's knocked off <laughs> my dust cover for my piano because she's climbing up and down all the time. Which, to be honest, I think is quite cute. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go down and have some burgers. This is your slippers content. She's having a little ball. She's having a little She's cleaning her paws. Hi! Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> I don't know what the lighting's like because my viewfinder doesn't work, so sorry about that. But it's, 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 it's not bedtime. It's 8.30, but I'm in bed. I'm gonna have a nice chilled out evening. And then... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Uh, but yeah. I had a really nice day today. It was nice. Went for a really nice walk. And then we went back to Chris's for a bit. Hung out with his family. And then came back here and hung out with my family for a bit. Now I'm hungry. Look at moving the tail. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really nice day. We never did find out what that tower was. We tried searching on Google Maps and we couldn't find it. Oh yeah, I don't remember looking at that. Oh no, we'll set them off again now. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna end the vlog here. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Say bye, Flippoosh. Say bye, Flippoosh. Mm -hmm.